Hello, everybody. Hope everybody can hear me. I'm going to do a little sound check, and then I'm going to show you the information. I'm going to do a little, do sound, a little sound check. check. That sounds pretty good, right? Okay, here we are. And um, where are we? Well, we are in the middle of the Sahara Desert. This is just one picture that I got. I've got a lot more pictures for you, but I have shown this to you before, and I just want to try to get it one more time, get it right. So I'm going to give you an overview of ancient megalithic ter terraforming here in the Sahara Desert, specifically uh, in the Tibesti Mountains right now. The question is, is what was going on here? I, I do have these uh, pictures ready. I'm trying my best. I think they're all good here. Yep. So here is the topographic map of the Tibesti Mountains. And they are the highest place. They're part of the West African Shield and the <clears throat> Precambrian pre rocks are like 2 billion years old. And um, there's a lot of unique volcanic rocks and hot springs here. And if you've seen Jimmy's... Oh, did I not open up? A, I had to reboot my computer for this. So let's see if it takes me to the same place. If you've seen Jimmy's uh, recent, nope, that's not it. Let's get back out of here. This is something else that was interesting that I saw. Some old stone dome building, pretty nice, but I don't know much about that. Um, getting to back to Africa, we are in Africa actually. That was in the, in the. I think that's uh That's still Tunisia right there. I don't know. It could have been over here in Algeria. I think that's Algeria where we just were. But what I'm trying to show you is actually, oh, by the way, why did I just zoom out? Oh, yeah, because I wanted to show you the 3D version of this. Not just 3D, but Jimmy did the video here. He talked about all this. And, you know, I have a hard time uh, believing everything that what he said is it's etched into the bedrock. I don't know about that. That could just be sand right on top of the bedrock. So uh, this, the sand dunes are a very, very uh, wondersome and confusing thing. But we're going to talk about the whole of the Tibesti Mountains right now. Uh, first of all, uh, they're located in northern Chad, right? A little bit of them are in Libya. And we'll see that map later. Um, there's bordering Libya and Niger over here. There's a little bit of stuff going on over here as well. Um, they're part of the West African Shield. They are very, very prehistoric when it comes to not just human habitation, but mining for gold. Okay, I, I didn't prepare what I was going to say. There's some. We're going to make a shorter video today. Um, no, I think I have it right over here. Luckily, I printed it out. So today I'm trying to print stuff out for you. Okay, here we go. So basically, um, my, 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 blah, 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 where are we? Mainstream science and archaeology appear to be overlooking this site, uh, this ancient megalithic terraforming that's probably ir irrigation related. Let me zoom in real quick and remind you if you don't know what we're talking about. Hi there, Ziggy. Thank you for your comment. Sorry, I, I just wanted to do a, a video here and um, talk about this whole area. So when you look at this, Jimmy from Bright Insight just talked about this but he ignored the fact that this is the highest point in the sahara desert and it's also the highest point in chad and in the tibesti mountains is it right uh, where was it i thought it was right here uh, there it is emi kosi and i guess that's the name of the volcano and uh, like i said it's a large area of ancient precambrian rocks and they are the oldest in the world i guess uh, actually that's talking about the whole area here so that's the whole area. But when you get in, you have volcanic rocks and hot springs. And those things have made it an important <clears throat> area for prehistoric human habitation. And uh, there's mineral deposits such as gold and uranium in them hills. And uh, the reason why I'm showing you is to talk about the terraforming that's going on in this area. Ennery. Do you see the word Ennery comes up a lot? I don't know if that means river 
Because I'm kind of feeling like it's the name of riverbeds. So I could be wrong about uh, what I've researched, but there's another name of this city here that's uh, right. I, I need to get a new mouse. Uh, the, the navigation roller thing, it just slides. My fingertips are too soft. Okay, um, I got it right here. The name of the place that I'm talking about is called uh, Guake. Guake. G O U A K E. Now, in this area, I'm going to show you a map because uh, I just want to talk about the history. Um, okay, it popped up over here. What what is this? Why would that happen? Okay, so as you can see here, you you've got this name here that says Guake. I got to zoom in. How can I zoom in? I'm I'm not in my normal environment here to zoom in. Okay, let's zoom in. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Guake. And it says here, I should have checked that. That's one thing I didn't check. Falaise de la Gerte. Whatever that means. I'm going to have to look that up. So uh, this is a name that i got to check it out. I almost want to put that in right now, um, but I won't. I'm going to keep going here because I just want to focus on some of the relics. Okay, what you... I actually have this other thing I was trying to open up, and it's right there. And it's talking about the people that live there. And as you can see, we've got the Tobo, and they're living in this whole area for thousands of years. Now, if you talk about Herodotus, Herodotus, and let's go look at the other map real quick. The, he had the Garamantes map. Okay, if you look at this, the Garamantes pretty much... Uh, let me give you uh, what you see here is uh, if you start here by the water scoop down underneath this mountain these mountains have a name not Libya of course it doesn't show it because I've always turned off all my uh, my stuff everything so what's the name of these mountains it doesn't even have a name of the mountains on this map it's so wrong right I think we can go back to this other thing here and, and take a look this map here probably will show us um, if we look up here we don't see I guess that that right there that's a little bit too low I, we need to go higher so this maps no good so we have to really do research to find out the names of stuff but this says al fu 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 -ka -na, fu -kara, whatever anyways the Garamantes that Herodotus wrote about kind of scoop down and then go all across this area and ended up actually over here like near Lake Triton so the people that, and apparently according to Herodotus, maybe they were at war with each other. Maybe the Garamantes were hunting these guys. I had to kind of do some more research about it. But the Tobo have been living here for thousands of years. And uh, the Herodotus Persian War account was written about 450 B.C. approximately. So <clears throat> what? what's the unbelievable thing is that this must be even older, though, that whole thing. That word is very interesting. So I'm going to probably type that in in a second this whole little region has a name and it's incredible this region if you look at it it's uh actually if you go back to the topographical shots that i have uh, that's uh, the same area a little clearer you can see that it's almost like a tri it's got three points a circle out here a circle out here and a circle out here of, of height it's almost like a tri point like a what do you call that? Not a star. But um, over here, and let me get zoomed in to the area right there. That's it. I had it prepared. If you look here, this area is the highest point. But then you, what you've got is this crazy valley that's about 3,500 feet above sea level. And then you've got this ridge here that's closer to 7,000. And then maybe 6,900, 6,200. And then you've got uh, what looks like a slope going down this hill. Now, we could take away the... Okay, that's a photograph. I can't take away that layer. Um, there, there, I am using the layer underneath it. We could probably redo that. But what I want to show you is all this crazy, crazy water activity inside this small area. It's not that large. I mean, look, that's 20 kilometers right down there. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 kilometers... It's 100 kilometers is pretty far, but for all this water, how did it happen? Look at, look at this. You see these valleys here.
professional biologist. Hey, you forgot to thank me for that card. I need a public thank you. And uh, people can recognize that that card actually ended up into someone's hands. You can just comment on the video later. Uh, not in the live stream chat. Don't do it now. Do it at where people can see it. Say, hey, thank you for the Steam card. Yeah, I'm trying to use that as a free advertising. Okay, what was I talking about? I was talking about what's going on in here. It's just weird, right? That water would build up enough on this high spot to wash out all that dirt. Or am I wrong? I mean, obviously something else is going on here. But what you really want to think, and, and take a look here, you've got this big valley in there. So where would the water come from? Is it coming from these mountains and going down through here? It's just really weird to me. So um, let's move back to the thing here. Now, if you don't realize it yet, you see, you can see the ancient, let me move that out of the way. You can see the ancient terraforming that is going on in here. It's not that clear here, but it's quite clear down below. And then when you see some of the examples, you realize this whole area has been worked, 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 worked. Just crazy. Um, my favorite place to go first is over here. I want to start calling it the comb. Because when we were kids, at least I was, I had a comb with double-sided. And the this is an opposite. It has a ridge, which looks like a river. You can go in three-dimensional. You can follow that river up into the mountains. It's very straight, very perpendicular from the mountains. But also you can see that there's these ancient terraformed canals right next to it. And so these uh, Tobo people, they do have some legends of this area, of it being not just a... First of all, there's the Mountain of Gold. Uh, let me see if I can find it and read it to you. Um, yeah, they have a legend that says it was a mountain of gold. According to Tobo oral tradition, there is a mountain in the Tibesti Mountain that is made entirely of gold. Many Tobo people believe the mountain is located in the Enery area. So we've got this area labeled as such. Now that might have been part of on my search results, but this is what I'm calling the Enery area. And um, <clears throat> apparently there's a mountain of gold in there somewhere. Yo, I got your email, professional. I got your email. I'm just talking about like going to the original video that said, hey, you want this Steam card and saying, hey, thank you. I, I said you were a winner on the video, right? So if you go to that video where I said you're the winner, maybe both, there's two channels. I said it in both places. Just It's just like so people can see, oh, this guy did get it. He acknowledges he got it. It's, it's not like if I take an email from you, that acknowledges it to me. I'm talking about for my audience. Right? I'm trying to let my audience know that I didn't scam uh, with this fake offer, that I really gave a real Steam card. And I'd also like to know what you bought with the Steam card. You know, I know you re you want to remain anonymous, but anything that adds a little bit like it's obviously not my friend. And I, I can tell you I think that you're definitely – I know where I think you are, but um, I'm not going to try to dox you or anything like that. All right. Uh, anyways, so the Steam card was uh, – Given, given out to professional biologists. And um, let's go back to this. Uh, so as you can see, this Ennery area for 100 kilometers easy. And then at the very edge, you have what looks like some kind of strange irrigation terraforming going on here. Obviously ancient. I mean, when was the last time we had water? Now, I've seen some recent new videos talk about there being water in the Sahara um, even 500 years ago. And... I'm not going to really get into that. The question is, is, is this 500 years old? Well, honestly, if you go back to mainstream, and I have it right here, mainstream stuff, this is the Berbers. This is 600. It's not the oldest one. Uh, right here, we have an older society. And when did they appear? The answer to that is 10,000 years ago is when the Ibero-Morasians appeared. Uh, is it 10,000 years ago or 10,000 B.C.? Hold on. I think it's right there, 10,000 B.C. So it's 12,200 years ago. What, what's today? 2022. Okay, so 12,022 years ago. Exactly. The Ibero-Morasians appeared 
survivors of Atlantis, possibly? Well, the question we're talking about is down here, and you can even see the ancient Lake Chad. That's where this thing was, right at the base of the Tibesti Mountains. It's right there. And you can kind of line it up. But the problem is, okay, so we did have a shift. There was a, I forgot the word they used. Actually, I can probably just close this. When the Ibero-Morasians disappeared and the Berbers arrived. Berbers were there at 6,000 BC. So that's 8,000 years ago. The Berbers showed up in the same area. But we still have nothing recorded here in the middle of Africa. Obviously, mainstream history is probably missing something. But the ridiculous part about it is here is when we got uh, somebody claiming this area, West Africa, France. This is in 1906. So 1906 is when that white area changed to having a country try and claim it. And here's the picture right before that, 1900. You can still see that area, even though Chad is France. And by the way, did I just say France? I always forget. Yeah, France. So France was claiming the Sahara Desert practically 100 years ago, 120 years ago. And just 113 years ago, this switched to being contained and claimed by France. Not yet given back to this country, which became Chad. So anyways, there's not a lot of history, but I looked it up. I found out about the Tobo people. They've been there for many years. And by the way, I, I've kind of failed with this, uh, this whole scripted event because I totally didn't read the script. Um, I wonder if there's any questions about this area. I have all sorts of stuff. But, um, you know, the trade and commerce that used to go through here was ancient. And we're talking about trade routes. I have a paragraph I wanted to read. My problem is, is that I just still didn't prepare uh, well enough. Where is that? Oh, there. So here it is, uh, right uh, here. This area was a very unique in terms of including prehistoric cultures. Okay, the mountains, let me get back to the real map. The mountains here, like I said, were the highest point. If they were green, they had the most water, didn't they? From grabbing clouds, actually being affected. It was an important source of water for sure. It already said that there were several oases around here. And some of these are modern day, right? So modern day oases in this area, due to its location in, in the higher hills. Like I said, this is two miles high above sea level. And we just looked at those charts and we saw that even in my area here, it's about 3,000 feet above sea level. So that's still pretty high. I mean, if you look, compare it to the uh, area over by the Rashad structure. But what I really wanted to say is that not only was it um, inhabited, in this time period, it was also a major trade route, okay, be between, uh, of course, the Mediterranean Sea and South Africa. Uh, it's Southern Africa, not South Africa, obviously. And in addition to that, it was uh, people were getting salt. So it was so important for trade and commerce, and in, even in prehistoric times. And the mountains were a source of valuable resources in prehistoric times, such as gold, salt, other minerals. So, and, and there are actual trade route crossroads here linking, uh, like I said, Mediterranean to southern areas. So there was something going on here. Uh, and when you zoom in, you say to yourself, well, what really, I mean, there must have been a big population here. Look at the way these things are laid out. I mean, you can see these, these canals going perpendicular in parallel lines, perpendicularly from the river really demonstrate how how they were created and it uh, looks like there's lines that cut through pretty far but you can see it out here they brought down water and they spread it out that must have been irrigation for agriculture look at these lines how they're parallel and they cut away and another thing i always like to point out is they're almost a 45 degree angle from reality like maybe it was done so long ago before an axis shift here too you can see the main river is like a 45 degree angle from north south almost it's a little off but if you turn this you've got perpendicular lines going directly to and from this place and this is uh looks like it's got several layers of activity going on 
again with the irrigation looking stuff and they talk about uh, lava rocks i mean there's no way that's that's not just worked land also uh, one other place is way over here you can see what i call the dribble mountains and those mountains look like they could be older activity because it looks like this stuff was built right over them when it comes to this irrigation this looks like it's newer than these mountains because it went right over these lines you can see them going across that's what i call a dribble mountain it actually has a, a dashed effect these don't look like breaches to me it looks like the dribble mountains were created so the water turns into channels yeah the question about the access tilt is really a hard one for me I mean, I'm looking at comments right now. I see Cougar B and Ziggy Dan. And, uh, hey, Ziggy, do you know Cougar? Uh, she actually was the one responsible for making me take another serious look um, at the surrounding areas of the Rashad. And it suddenly one day dawned on me about this quarrying. But when you look here, you, I mean, just look at it. Go to, and look at it yourself. You see perpendicular lines again here. That's just not the way rivers are created. And this is the, the stuff. Let's type that in. Remember I said I found it on the map and I wanted to type it in. So this a uh, couple of Tobo, let me bring the map back over here and, and look at this word and then type it in. I can't pronounce it. My French isn't that good. Falaise de la Gerte. I'm just going to, because I'm, I don't want to misspell it. Uh, I want to type it here first. And let's see. Um, F A L A I S E D E L apostrophe A T E R dash T A Y. Okay. So I don't. Wait. Is that it? Did I get it? I think I got it. So if we take this and we put it into a search, and uh, of course I'm going to get like. Let me just. You know what? What is this? This is uh, not my favorite browser anyways. Let me go back over here. It's just better that way. There's a couple. Oh, I'm getting Bing. See, I'm not in my favorite browser right now. So I got to go over here. And if you didn't know, my favorite browser is... Okay. In what country is this? Chad. Okay, so we'll put that in there and we'll see what we get. We're already getting... Re Did you mean this? So... Maybe I should go to French. A cliff in Chad. It's a cliff. Okay. So it's a cliff in Chad. What do I get? Do I got any other information on it? Map Carta. It's a cliff. Elevation. Okay. It's a cliff. Well, I'm not going to do research on that while I'm going live stream here. I'm pretty much done. Let's talk about the Tobo people. I got pictures here. Those Tobo people. Let's see. Where does that start? Let's just go to the beginning. <clears throat> there they are. See what happens is it plays every video and stuff. I don't like that. I got to like change it so it's just photos only. Okay, so here you can see the Tobo gets divided into a Teda and a Dasa tribe. Tobo area includes that area in Chad I just showed you. This is in Shurda. It's a Fort Turk. This picture was taken in 1992. I would say that's a little inferior. Okay, I already talked about that. Talked about that. This is a picture of the ancient Tobo people. So they're not ancient like they're Atlantean ancient, I guess. Okay, let's not watch that video. I just want to go here. There we go. Todo people. So these people are they're typically riding around on camel. They're very nomadic, nomadic pastoralists, right? That's the type of farming they do. This is why I, I feel comfortable if I just get a bot to read all that stuff to you that I prepared. They're warriors. And that's a I don't know what that is. All right, and there's another map that kind of shows the breakdown. Where is that? Cairo's up there. So this was something I found. Tibesti Mountains are here. I don't see the, the Chad Lake. Anyways, that's not very useful. 
So, take a look for yourself. Let's just uh, let's save that for later. Falaise de Agerte, a cliff. Uh, you know, the, the weird thing is it shows the the words there, but where's the cliff at the top here? Because it's not at the bottom. Those don't look like cliffs. That looks like a cliff right there. We can go zoom in on the cliff. Now, even that looks worked. Even that looks worked. Was it some type of an... Oh, look at this circle. That looks significant right there. I'd probably suspect that's a created mound for something. I mean, you don't usually see stuff. Is that perfectly round? Not really. But that cliff certainly is long. It's like 100 kilometers long. It looks like it's been worked in there. But... The place that I really, okay, and in here too, this is that other side that had a, an area, that's sand. Getting back over to the Aneri area, these, these weird eroded areas, like what type of water event eroded that, like that, one, two, three. You have like three rivers, four over here. You can kind of see some kind of a parallel ancient large scale line there, but... That could be just a natural feature, kind of where the river just started up here and went across, and then later on was changed. But when you get in, you you can't deny the terraforming that went on in this area. You just can't deny that. So take a look at the whole thing and then see it for yourself. <clears throat> I mean, this has all been worked. And maybe something came later and tore that out. But you can see that these parallel lines, are mo moving away from the rivers, I mean, that right there is enough to me to prove it's not natural. You've got each independent river with independent lines going perpendicular all in the same direction. Then, then of course, if that's like not going to convince you, get out here where it enters the desert and you can see where they were doing irrigation they were adding height it looks like some type of a weird lava was added to height i don't think they were machining that down but i i don't know it looks like they carved those canals in there so maybe they did machine down the the top i mean it just boggles the mind look at that work going over and i didn't even measure that part If you have pictures of this area, then I would love I would love to see that. I mean, okay, so what I see it here, it looks very similar to what I've seen in the Utah National Forest called the Canyonlands. I went there and uh it they call them the needles. But this is just bizarre. It's like flint it's like the bedrock and when I say that, I mean the Flintstones cartoon. Yeah, time for a new mouse. And then this area has poor picture. I wonder what that looks like. We could always go to Satellites.pro to look at this part. Uh, what's a good idea? What did Cougar say that's a good idea? Good idea, Cougar. I don't understand. What's the good idea? What did I miss? I'm just looking at this uh, chat right here, and it says, Hi, Cougar. And she just waved, and you said, Good idea, Cougar. Oh, I guess it's something I told you um, that I did. Okay, I understand. I think. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I can't make this video much longer. I've been having some luck with some of my shorts. I'd like feedback on those shorts if you ever want to give me the feedback. Let me just see. We're green. We got everything going with for us. The speed test is going well. I guess I'm not looking at the chat. What happened? Close that. Where did I, I close it? Okay, I guess I closed the chat. Well, sorry about that. Let me just reopen close tabs. There it is. The chat. Great. All right. Thank you for that good tip. Okay, so yeah, um, not sure if you have any questions, but the the people, the ancient people that lived there, the Tobo. Um, by the way, there's a lot of other stuff out here, and if you go over here, you get 
some other crazy stuff that you can zoom in on and look at. It's just insane. Is that it? That's not it. Where was it? Is that it? That's it. I just think that this doesn't look right. This is not natural. Planetary Valley, it says. What's this? Planetary Valley. Land Planning Authority in Libya. Oh, and then you've got these weird circles sitting out there. Look at that picture. See, and in this case, now what you see is... I love that. I mean, I got to grab that. If I can uh, zoom in on that. So you, what you see here is probably something that's not natural. And I'm going to have to do a new video now. Okay, let's see what number four was. There you go. I mean, what we're seeing here is just bizarre. And when you look at where that's taken from, this this place where I said it was like the Matrix, if you uh, didn't see that, now I have to close some stuff. I'm all excited now. I got all weird and excited. And I'm trying to find this one thing. So Bing takes over my SVG files is what's happening here. Okay, we can close that. Okay, now where is it? Let me, uh, oh yeah, it's right here. Sorry, I, I was getting distracted. Oh, I don't really want to show you my folders. Hate it when that happens. Um, but I do have the picture here that I, I do want to show you, which, oh, now don't tell me that it's not here. Oh, what was I going to show you? This place? Yeah, this is the Matrix. I, I just have this one screenshot. I guess I'll go to my, you know, one place that it has it is the uh, Twitter account that I have. I put it there. So I'll grab that real quick. If you want to add me on Twitter, please do. It's one of these pictures I did a long time ago. Let's see if it's even still there. And there it is. So, yeah, I took this picture a long time ago, and I thought that looked really weird, right? Let's put it right in here. And uh, and then we go back and see it for ourselves, and we find this picture that shows all these weird things coming off of that. That's just bizarre, right? So, you know, I'm going to – I just want to show you this one last time. You've got these straight lines, and they're all parallel. You Don't tell me this is natural. It just doesn't make sense. No, no. This is on India. Here, let me close this again. India, no, this is in the middle of Africa. Planetary Valley, it says. And I guess because these things that look like planets. Land Planning Authority in Libya, more info. Okay, so I guess we can always uh, search this. Like I said, I just saw this for the first time. And I mean, it's not the first time I've seen these things. These things were outright melted. I mean, this was terror. This is... Uh, terra megalithic terraforming I I using a technology that is just crazy. Th this is going to be a new video, so uh, we're gonna we're going to uh, finish this video. I have something else I got to do, but that's crazy. Planetary Valley. Let's search that right now. I don't know about land planning authority in Libya. Let's get rid of that. And see if that gives us any pictures, images. I mean, I don't know what that is. Planetary Valley. See, so there's a lot of pictures we can find on this. I mean, that's just bizarre. These are like little cow pies. Uh, look at this one. It's a perfect sphere. Maybe that's why it's called Planetary Valley. Because it looks like a universe of planets. Mystery of living stones in Libyan desert that form the valley of the planets. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of research I need to do here. I kind of uh, never had a name for this place. Kind of busy doing other stuff. Look at that thing. What, what is going on there? Lead shot. Have I seen how lead shot is made? Um, I have not seen how lead shot is made. Why don't we check it out? How is lead shot made? Okay, there it is. Lead shot. 1950. A minute long. I probably shouldn't be showing videos if I don't have a... If I don't have... Okay, here we go. So it's been melted and dripped, I guess, huh? 
I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't look very hot. I guess they're drifting water right away. I guess lead shot is not perfectly round spheres, huh? And definitely don't want any lead shot in my body. They look pretty spherical. Interesting. Uh, let me get that off there. I don't want to lose my uh, lose my um, copyright. Well, let's just say that uh, lead shot is a metal, and this is stone, and I guess it's clay. I mean, honestly, when you look at this, and we, let's go to the original. Let's go to the original picture of this place. I mean, when you look at this, you see what looks like areas of stones that are even up to a, a, a fifth of a mile wide, melted. I mean, it just boggles the mind. I, I mean, as a, I, I don't think there's any geologist that's going to be able to explain how this happened at such a large scale naturally. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is some type of a natural explanation. You know, the lines just, the fact that these are all going in the same direction for so many miles. And now we know about planetary what? And what I do is I use Google Earth. Let's go over there with this pictures. Okay, see, this locks up sometimes. So if you use, a, sorry, a Google Earth Pro. And I can't even move this from you so you can't see it. There we go. And you go over there. It's right there. You can get some pictures that people have put. Right here, we have some pictures. And see, I didn't even... There's so many things I haven't done yet. Okay, it's locked up again. That's not something I want to be doing live. For some reason, Google Earth Pro locks up whenever I do this. It's molten lead dropped in tower. It forms balls before it lands. Dropped in tower? Okay, I hate it when that happens. Can I just please have my window? It's molten lead dropped in tower. It forms balls before it lands. They were molten stone and fell from a lightning strike. Okay, I can understand uh, something like that in a smaller scale happening, but if you see this, I mean, it's like 50 miles wide here. Let me, you know, I don't even like Google Earth Pro. Let's keep using my Google Earth. A lightning strike that goes across how many miles? I mean, just this part alone, okay, this part alone is 14, 15 miles across. I mean, the, the scale there, and then this part over here is another eight miles. Does lightning usually go that far apart? And what happened there? Look at this one. I was looking at that before. It looked like somebody created that one, but... Yeah, maybe there is some, this is a little bit different stone. You've got some quarrying action happening here. And if it's not quarrying, and then it's a, it's a it's like a mega breccia that sticks out um, between the, from my understanding, this mega breccia, um, it forms on top of something softer, and then it breaks apart. So this is softer than that. Could be wrong. I'm not a geologist, but I do believe that something weird happened on top of that to make it so perfect and smooth. I mean, it's all smooth on the top, and then it gets all rough down below. Like I said, people are quarrying that mega breccia. And uh, that's not the only quarry field that I would say is po uh, apparent in this area. Let me uh, get north. i got to figure out where north is. Yeah, over here on the left side, you've got some crazy, crazy quarrying as well. And it doesn't take long before you find, like over here, a bunch of cuts in the stones perpendicular to other straight lines or rivers cuts in the stones as you get closer you can see it doesn't seem like they were quarrying large stones it looks like maybe they were just quarrying some type of an ore gold ore and over here you've got um, a bunch of mounds on top of all this I don't know that's not really a mound that looks like a actually those are those are like strip mines right those look like ancient strip mines, but um, I only say that because of what's going on right next to it. You know, these these this area is also in dire need of some some. Uh, there you go. 
I mean, look at the way those rocks are formed at the top. Definitely something worked on those. It's kind of hard to get the alignment right with the shadows so it actually looks normal. People were going in and out of there taking rocks. And whether or not they were taking large rocks or I don't even know what kind of rock this is. But it's the same type of thing that was happening over there. This is a whole area needs to be checked out. I mean, it just goes on and on for hundreds of miles. I was trying to find that one place, but why not look at newer spots? Oh, look, the Sahara Desert. It's a restaurant. Let's see if we can go shop there. More info. Yeah, that's a fake post, right? Well, you know, you don't want to say the term electric universe in front of people like Graham Hancock or Randall Carlson. Look at these cut-throughs here. Definitely a cut-through, right? A major pathway. And when people make paths, they don't usually break through the, the, the bedrock, right? That That's like a, a, a pathway that was cut through there. You're talking strike. I'm saying that this stuff was probably done by, by people roaming. And I don't know if those people were... were people like aliens or if they were cavemen i'm sorry i meant to say giants or if they were humans i really can't talk about that you, you can always find something that's kind of moundish in the middle something moundish in the middle all right we got a lot of comments here let me see if i missed anything before i shut this down concretions concretions what is a concretion is that a geological term for stuff that looks like poured cement uh, let me just uh, well I'll look at that later let's see what else we got uh, lead shot creation looked interesting it does look similar to that yes small fossils in the middle oh those circles is what you're referring to I see search rock concretions okay i'll do that right now let's do that right now i think we can i love it when my previous searches have popped up and it's something that's a little okay the, yeah these uh these well how big are they i mean when we see these small ones that a guy's walking through Okay, that does. Those are in the USA, huh? Concretions in the USA. Well, I'm suspect. I'm sir. I'm sorry. The the way they're laid out, I'm suspect. A Wikipedia page for concretions. All right, let's visit. Because honestly, uh, I was seeing some that would look too, too suspect to be. I mean, what's why are these ridges here? concretions thank you for that term that actually means a lot to me uh uchronia utopia thank you for that um were we saying that these things oh look there's some concretions that are being created i mean look you've got these but what about the ones that are the size of mountains that's a, that's the size of a penny uh, how can you scale up to the size of a mountain and not be unnatural these are microscopic. Those are microscopic spherules. So um, what on the Martian surface? Okay, I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, I've seen these pictures. Uh, those are interesting. Concretions, that's that's the mainstream term, huh? Uh, definitely, uh, what's this? Oh, it's cut in half, and they're showing the crystallization that occurred inside these concretions. Ziggy Dan, what did you say was in there? Or who, oh, the small fossil in the middle. Small fossil in the middle. I don't know if you're seeing any fossils in there. That looks like a crystallization, but definitely a metamorphic uh, reaction. Very interesting, right? Very interesting. Concretion. See, we learn something new every day on this channel. I promise you that. Those, that's actually quite beautiful. You know, you could you'd have to pay money to paint something like that. All right, let's get out of here. Can we get out of here now? Okay. Um, I wanted to go to the next picture. Maybe that's the last one. 
Is it here? No? Let me just go back. Oops, there we go. What's that? The small fossils? Those look like fossils. Although that's quite interesting. What, what are we looking at there? It says here, hiatus concretion encrusted with bryozones, a thin branching form. All right, so it's some type of a branching form. Living rock, right? Living rock. Hiatus concretion to the base of uh, Israel. But that's quite different, right? See, these things, these things I studied, I thought they were coming out of Africa. And now we find them, they're coming out of... Uh, Moki marbles from the Navajo sandstone. Wow, that's 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 art. I would pay for that. Beautiful stuff. All right, I will. I'll check out instant fossilization. But I gotta get out of here first. Let me just uh, copy that. You know, sometimes my eyes start burning. I don't know what's wrong with my eyes, but it's uh, in pain. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, make sure, I mean, look at that craziness. Oh, it's all natural. And then look over here, it's even more insane. And you see parallel lines in there. That's the other problem with the whole thing. Not really up close. You do see some, though, going across. And you see the ones that are, like, right here. I, sh I, I showed these before. This is, like, cleared out fields i guess i mean you're seeing a square shape take it out of these things oh, maybe i should just go wash my eye out and come back but uh i could be i could do this all day i have something i have to do so i thank you so much for coming and i'll definitely paste that into the search bar y'all have a great day